You still there? Yes, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm just trying to locate you really quickly here. Just a moment. My apologies. There you go. And before we proceed, I do want to make sure everything else here is correct. Uh, if any case the call disconnects, is this the best phone number to reach you up? Yes. Thank you. And then also, uh, I did have your mailing address listed as a family resource center downtown. Yes. So that's still a good place for you to pick up your county mail. Yes. question for Medi-Cal purposes. We also do ask for your tax filing status. Uh, so this here you file a this is information card? Yes. And then I did see your transfer here regarding a question about the general relief. Uh, it's a pending application here, but I'll be to Wait, say again? I saw that you were transferred here regarding a, a question about the general relief. Uh, how may I assist you? Did you just say the general relief was pending? But you just said it was, but you said it was pending and then moved on as if it hadn't actually gone through. Oh no, I'm looking, sorry, there's two, there's two things that it's pending. We have, we have, we have a GR case that's active and then we have a GR that's pending for employment services. My apologies for that. Employment services? Well, it's regarding what you just did. I mean, I mean, it, there's nothing in your system about the fact that I've called four times in the last week and a half trying to get my worker to put through the uh, uh, transportation benefit, the $72 transportation benefit, and that there's a, a pending wait for a supervisor call that does not show up in your system either? Oh, I haven't reviewed your case just yet. Oh, why don't you do that and then get, what's your name again? My name is Angel. Angel, huh? You in Langley, you, where's the NSA? Where, where are you based, Angel? We're based in Mission Valley. Mission Valley. Okay. Well, go ahead and review my case. I'm, I'm just trying to wonder why a supervisor hasn't called me back. This is, I think, the fourth, not in a row. There was a, a triple escalation that I never got a supervisor call back. And then yesterday I got transferred right to a supervisor's voicemail. And then left one at 7 a.m. and still haven't heard back. And you think the supervisor would just call my worker and say, hey, it'll take 30 seconds, put his little benefit thing through, please. And then I wouldn't have to call every morning and then have you pretend that my case is pending, which felt like it was deliberately done to provoke me. And I got it on video, so we'll look at that. But anyway, go ahead and transfer me to a supervisor, please, Angel. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, I mean, did you hear that? Oh, says here it's pending. Okay, what can I do for you? Really? 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 Sorry, I'm not even looking at you. I'm looking at me. Fucking really? She, she could have put it... It's been... It's now August. I applied in June 30th. It's now August 18th? 17th? Now, granted, I didn't get my interview till after I got out of jail, but still, I was only in jail for five days. And I still can't get the $72 transportation benefit that was her literally checking off a form when she put this thing through and all the things she did wrong. All the forms that disappeared and they had to go all the way to the lab. I turned the forms in. They just didn't get scanned in my case. Normally they get scanned. Everything you turn in gets scanned. Oh my god, all these things are missing. Oops. That was for the interview. And that was three weeks ago. And then it took her two weeks to push my stuff through. It'll be there Thursday. The f took two more Thursdays before I got it. Because she was fucking everything up. And then you heard him. So it's here at spending. What can I do for you? Really? This is the callback. So it's not even that they have to interrupt the system to get an agent on the line. No, this call is coming right from wherever the fucking FBI, CIA, NSA, whoever does this kind of thing for a living. 
And then I'm gonna get the supervisor in like six hours, like asking for a supervisor. Like, really? <laughs> Do I leave it running? So Vivian claimed at one point that the LA transfer was saying that I got my GR benefits in LA in July, which it didn't say because when I called LA and then it was that that took an extra five days, but it took four days to find out about it because instead of calling me and telling me, she sent it in the mail. And she knows from our interview that I'm not even checking that mail. It's going and standing in line for hours at a homeless place to get your mail. And there was no need to do it yet because we had just talked. We did a 90-minute interview. And she was great. She was helpful. She was friendly. And then it... And I don't know why all these pages are missing. Let's redo them. Boot -doo -doo. And I'm going to need you to go print out more and blah. And, it, and then it just went on week after week. And I'd escalate. They'd escalate to a supervisor. And then they'd double escalate. And once they triple escalated to a supervisor, did I hear from a supervisor? Hell no, I didn't. Fuck no, I didn't. And now the transportation, $72 that I need today. Give me my, I mean, just won't put it through. I know it's not mine. I do, it is mine. I have to pay it back. This is a loan. This isn't like LA where they give you 221 and have a nice day. This is this money. San Diego gives it to you as a loan. So when I finally get rich or die trying, I have to pay it all back. So don't mock me like I don't. I'm just give me the fucking money. Why are they between this and my doctor sabotaging my thing? My pain? Oh, I don't see anything. Must be all fine. Gaslighting, thank you. And then my lawyer. I still haven't met with my... I'm firing my lawyer at court on Monday. Oh, it's going to be glorious. They should allow court, cameras in the courtroom for this. They really should. They should, oh yeah. Oh, they should, oh yeah. Should I even... I mean... Oh, ooh, it's ringing. Ooh. Back on that. You have reached the desk of Peggy Garcia, supervisor for the Access Customer Service Center. I am sorry, I I waited five minutes for her answering machine. Really? How does that work? How does that work, like logistically? Oh, oh I shall. Yes, hello, this is Seth Aronson, Social Security number 028-524394. Um, this is the second supervisor voicemail I have left in as many days, um, and as, as both times, very early in the morning, giving all day, but I never hear from a supervisor, and it's, I don't really need to hear from a supervisor. You could just call my worker and say, hey, I don't know why you haven't put through his transportation benefit can you go ahead and do that because it's been like way longer than it should take thanks that's all you gotta do you just say that to my to vivian vivian Nguyen, the woman who makes so many mistakes on at least this case i mean i assume if she made this many mistakes regularly you would have fired her but for some reason she can't do anything right on my case so you being a supervisor yet again you're a different supervisor, so maybe you'll get something done. And uh, I'll have transportation benefit on my card when I wake up in the morning. That would be great. Because it's going to be the weekend, and I would like the $72, because I have to pay full price for the bus. And I need the money. Thank you. I mean, I'm paying it back. It's not like it's being rude and just greedy. My transportation benefit should have been approved with my case. I call every day and nothing happens. That's weird. Please do something. Have a nice weekend. Either way. Oh, sweet mother of God.